A very special film festival has been going on in Delhi this week. It's a family film festival dedicated to one single remarkable family that has made great achievements in Indian cinema over three generations, the incredible Samarts, all women, of course, starting with the great actress Shobhana Samarth, her two daughters, Nutan and Tanuja, and, of course, a new generation of Gajal and Tanisha. Joining me, of course, the liveliest, the most memorable, memorably incredible Samarth of all, Tanuja. Thank you so much for joining Limelight. Thank you. What does it mean to you, this incredible showcasing of three generations of incredible women? It's, um, <clears throat> one doesn't really think about things like this and how uh, important it is actually. But uh, it is very important because all of us, from my mother, my elder sister, myself and my daughter, we have all been, like, uh, I would say, trained to be ourselves. We've been trained to be truthful to ourselves, be true to whatever it is that we are doing. So it's like an amazing feeling. And why is it so important is because whenever any one of us ever came onto the small screen or the big screen for that matter, there was a kind of where the audience listened with complete attention to what we were saying. You know, three generations of truth telling, mm. talent, as you describe it as one thing, Tanuja, but still it's three generations of stardom, <laughs> of, of, of that one quality that everyone is search of and is always trying to define. Is stardom indefinable or at any rate, in your case, genetic? No, it's definitely not genetic. And it is indefinable because I think each and every human being has a star quality. A quality to project? Yes, a star quality. Every human being is a star in his or her own right. In whatever that they, whatever they do with their lives. It just depends on how, whether they recognize that quality or not. It's a kind of a power that you have to recognize and accept and then project. So it's like we've been very fortunate that my mother did it her way and she was the example which taught us that, look, you have to do it your way. You have to live life your way. She sort of passed it on to us and said it is very important, not just for the image that you project to your audiences, but to yourself, to be elegant in yourself. Absolutely. And of course, the great thing about this film festival is that we are seeing Shobhana Samarth in her prime, in Ram Rajya, playing Sita, the only feature film that Mahatma Gandhi has ever had said to see in his film yes. and adored her. Yes, so and I, I remember. Yeah. I remember your mother telling me that she was in fact pregnant with you. <laughs> yes. When she was playing Sita. Yes, and it, it's a funny thing. You know, people ask me, says, you know, Tanuja ji, you've been in the films for so long, and I don't think that you have got what you deserved. And I said, listen, my friend, I had a diamond jubilee before I was born. <laughs> so what do I need one now? You know, I was in her stomach and the picture ran for, I think, two, three years or something like that at a stretch. Really and she amazing. also, really, that was a generation, they talk of women's emancipation and empowerment these days. But here was a truly empowered woman because oh. she lived her private life on her own terms. Her yeah. relationship with the great actor Motilal was well known. He was Absolutely. really like an uncle to all of you, wasn't he? Uncle, father, mentor, everything. And, um, you know, it, it's so funny, but... It didn't separate, for me, my father and Motikaka were on par. I mean, they never made us feel that, look, there's something bad going on or there's something illicit going on in that relationship. It was such a beautiful relationship. And the only thing Motikaka and mommy ever fought about was us, children. You don't know how to bring up your children. They have no discipline. And don't beat your children. That's not good.